happening today. Another statue coming down in Richmond, this time at Capitol Square. Yeah, this comes as we are getting a closer look at the future of Monument Avenue and the empty pedestals there. Caroline Coburn is live with the updates for us. Caroline. Well, Robin, the Harry F. Byrd statue in Capitol Square will be removed this morning at 830. This comes as legislation that was passed earlier this year that took effect July 1st allows for its removal. Now, the segregationist governor and senator coined the term massive resistance when it came to segregating schools in the 1950s. Capitol Square will be closed to the public today from about 830 until noon, while the 10 foot statue and its base and signage are removed and put into storage. Meanwhile, the pedestal where Stonewall Jackson statue stood on Monument Avenue is also coming down. Yesterday, Richmond's Planning Commission voted to repave the area and add a crosswalk after agreeing that legislation passed by City Council to remove the Confederate statues also included the pedestals. But several other statue bases, including the base of the Jefferson Davis Monument, will not be removed. This comes as the governor has directed the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts to reimagine Monument Avenue and to come up with a plan for redesigning the area. The governor has given the VMFA nearly $11 million for the effort, and the VMFA said during yesterday's Planning Commission meeting that they're working to talk to residents who live along Monument Avenue, as well as the rest of the city, to make sure everyone's voice is heard. Now, Rob and Reba here. The Stonewall statue base will be removed, but they also noted that others like the Lee Monument base will not be. And actually, VMFA leaders say it'll be part of the redesign process because of the civil protests that took place there this summer, saying that that base is now part of history here in Richmond. All right, Caroline Coburn reporting live. Thanks, Caroline.